Hi everyone, or Salamu Alaikumu, that's maybe how you would have said it in uh, Proto-Semitic. Yeah, this is your ancient Semitic channel, um, admin and content creator speaking. Uh, yeah, just wanted to make an announcement. Um, apparently some of you have noticed that my videos aren't there anymore. They're, they're actually not deleted, they're just set on private and yes, I, I can explain a little why I've done that and what my future plans uh, for this channel are. So, um, yeah, a couple of days ago I was just uh, re-watching old videos of other channels, language-related channels that I liked and um, just coincidentally I saw one of my own comments from eight years ago and I saw that uh, somebody responded just one week ago and asking where my videos are gone and that they needed them, etc. Um, yeah, so uh, it's good that I saw that coincidentally and that um, uh, inspired or motivated me to come up with this announcement. So um, let, me, let me just explain a little about, about my channel. So um, I started this ancient Semitic channel in uh, 2013. Uh, that's when I started making videos for this channel and I was at that point I was still busy with my master's studies in Semitics or comparative Semitics and at some point I stopped making videos I think my last video was from February uh, 2016 um, yeah I stopped because I didn't really have any more ideas uh, uh, I ran out of languages maybe you could say. Um, I was also quite busy because I was working full-time then as a language instructor or language teacher and yeah I, I just lacked ideas and motivation to make new videos. So um, yeah that was in 2016 and then a while ago I don't know when exactly I Rewatched my own videos again, and I decided to set them all on private because I really wasn't satisfied with them anymore. I didn't like the video design anymore. Uh, most of them were just a plain white text on a black background. I didn't like the audio quality anymore um, with my cheap ass headset. And I also didn't like my pronunciation of certain languages anymore because, um, I mean, I've, I've, I've read more literature in the meanwhile, more recent literature and for example take a look at Hebrew and I think last year uh, Geoffrey Kahn released a book on the on the Tiberian or I think he called it Masoretic or Tiberian I'm not sure uh, pronunciation tradition on Hebrew and he made some valid points um, apparently there's some uh, descriptions by the Masoretes on the pronunciation of Hebrew uh, very precise descriptions comparable to Al Kitab by Sibawai, and it's very convincing and it doesn't match my Hebrew videos at all. And yeah, for that reason and other reasons, I just decided I didn't want those videos uh, to be displayed on YouTube anymore, so I set them on private. I didn't delete them because I, yeah, so I have some kind of backdoor maybe to bring them back to life at some point. Yeah, so I, I still got almost 5,000 subscribers and I see most of my videos have very good, um, have a very high approval. Most of them are in the upper 90s, uh, speaking of percent, uh, except maybe the ones dealing with expansion, like the expansion of Semitic languages, the expansion of uh, Afroasiatic languages. They have some 80-ish percent approval. Um, maybe they attracted too many ideologists, you know the type, like... Uh, they don't care about uh, scientific theories. They know the truth because they know wherever wherever they fr they're from. They are the the true Semites or whatever ideologists. So yeah, but most of my videos got quite uh, well approved. And yeah, so I was uh, thinking for a while to kind of uh, reboot this channel. And yeah, what am what am I doing right now anyway? So. Uh, this year I, I went back to academia. I stopped working as a language teacher and now I'm back to academia. I'm st I've started uh, doing a PhD now in linguistics, uh, Middle Eastern linguistics, and actually got quite some new inspiration for 
new um, language videos. So I've got new inspiration, I've got new classes, I refreshed my Akkadian, I'm learning Aramaic, Aramaic of the uh, Targum Onkelos, etc. And I'm, I've been planning to reboot my channel and I'm currently working on, on ideas how to do that. So what I want to do, um, first of all, I want to come up with a new design. I, I want to get away from the cheap uh, white letters on black background Photoshop thing I did before and thinking about maybe somehow involving PowerPoint as in like PowerPoint presentations into my videos and maybe using Zoom to record it to, to give it some kind of um, lecturish feeling. I don't know if you get my idea. I, I don't know if I'm sure myself how I want to do it and what I want exactly, but I'm just trying to come up with new ideas on how to design these videos. And not only affecting the um, like the looks, but also um, the structure of my videos. I want to do something else. I want to do it a little more uh, pedagogical, like um, not just reading languages, but also giving explanations. Um, I don't know. Get, adding sources like what what is my what are my ideas based on and yeah may, maybe structure my videos like like classes like so for example first of all i make a kind of an introduction to semitic languages what are they why is it fun or interesting to learn them and then then a video on ugoritic then a video on classical arabic and one on epigraphic south arabian maybe i'll give um, explanations an overview of the language and then just like what I've done before, uh, read texts in what I think might be might be a, might, might might be a credible historical pronunciation. Yeah, so I'm, I'm doing that again. Don't worry. Um, I've also got a, a second channel which uh, has uh, less subscribers. Uh, I think something between one thousand and two thousand subscribers. Ancient Egyptian and Coptic. I think I'm going to merge these two channels again. So I'm still dealing with Egyptian and Coptic, also in in the university. And I might definitely do other videos on Middle Egyptian, Late Egyptian, Coptic, and read some some relevant texts. And I think I'm just going to add this to my channel because, yeah, I mean, Egyptian is not Semitic, but it's close to Semitic. Whether Afro-Asiatic is a, is a valid uh, genetic language family or not, but... I mean, also in academia, I deal with Semitic and Egyptian and Coptic, so why shouldn't I add both to my channel? Um, I might also uh, re-release my old videos again and maybe add them to some kind of ancient Semitic classic playlist. So if you like those videos, you can watch them again. But I think that the core of my channel is going to be... Uh, those new videos that I have in mind and yeah, I, I think I also plan a, a finite number of videos f from the beginning so I make some kind of timeline and I'm going to deal with that and that and that and that and that and there's some point where I'll be done with what I was planning to do so yeah it's, it's probably going to um, to be limited or I'm going to have a limited plan from the beginning. I'm not, not quite sure. I'm still working out the details. Uh, there's one, one problem that I have. Um, right now I don't have access to the raw material of my old videos. Uh, I still got the videos on YouTube, but the raw material, in case I want to reuse it for future videos, I can't access it right now because uh, recently I moved from Germany to the US and before I moved I sold my computer because I didn't know how to take it with me without damaging it. And I got the hard drives, but I haven't bought a new computer since then. Uh, I was planning to buy a new computer upon arrival, but then there was some kind of hardware uh, shortage. And I wanted to have a nice gaming computer as well, not just for uh, working, but also for gaming. And yeah, I haven't bought a new computer since then. And the raw data is stored on my hard drives. And yeah, I'm using my laptop to work, but that has a very limited... Um, it has a lot of language material saved on it, but none of my raw material of my YouTube videos. Yeah, so what else? I'm also uh, thinking about how to deal with comments. Um, comments are important. I want my viewers to be able to ask questions. Um, but also, 
under all of my videos there have been all kinds of annoying comments, you know the kind, like, I mean I'm dealing with uh, ancient languages but still there are people who, who, who just know how to pronounce them because uh, they are from somewhere and uh, there are people who believe that they are... Uh, heritage or their birthplace gives them magical insight into historical linguistics and then there is religious ideologists and especially if you do something about uh, Egyptian you will have the uh, uh, you will have people who want to debate about race and racial ideology and racial theories and they know that the ancient Egyptians were Bantu or Somali or I don't know and I just don't have the the nerve or the patience to deal with that so um I was thinking about deactivating uh comments from my videos altogether but I'm not going to do that because because I want you to be able to ask questions and my approval and subscriber number shows me that most people apparently like my videos the way they are so um, there will be annoying comments and I think I'm just going to delete them and ban those people because I just don't have the nerve to deal with them and I don't want those people to annoy you, uh, to, to write comments that, that annoy you in the comment section. So, um, yeah, just what I'm going to say is there's going to be some rigid, um, some rigid, uh, I don't know, uh, how to, how to describe it. So, yeah, I, I will, I will take a look at the comments regularly and just sort out everything that I find annoying for whatever reason. Uh, it's my channel and I can decide what, what I find annoying and what not. Okay, yeah. Um, so this was a short overview. Um, I don't know when I'll start making my first new videos for this channel. I mean, I'm, I'm in a PhD program now. I've got a lot to do. I'm working, I'm studying. But when I find the time, there will be videos. Maybe not weekly, uh, maybe monthly, I'm not sure, but... Um, um, yes, you will see new content. I'm very sure that that's going to happen anytime soon. Uh, let's say, let's say by the beginning of next year, maybe even this year. I'm, I don't know. So yeah, I hope that all of my 5,000 or 4,700 4, something, I don't know, uh, subscribers are still active and that you're looking forward to seeing uh, more of my videos and yeah I wish everyone who is still watching a good day and see you soon